flat. All right, guys, we got super magic um, queen crab here. We are going for the um, non add on um, attempt for this. Not sure how this team will uh, go about it, but we'll go ahead and give it our best. So, this is Super Raid Magic Water, the first of many Super Raids added to Logris. So, in this fight, um, you need a leaf, but in this time around, we're going to go about doing it without one. Just to see how it will plan out. If we have enough DPS, then we can go ahead and skip the add ons. We can just go ahead and try to out DPS the um, heals. So I believe, I didn't tell them specifically, but I thought we are going to try and go ahead and try to do it without the, um, uh, do it without the, uh, thing on Bob, the, uh, add-ons. So it was really fast. Um, usually, um, the mini crabs will heal it, the queen crab, so you want to take it out as soon as possible. This is my bootleg, um, earth breaker build, so please don't laugh, guys. This does more damage to my dark, uh, assassin, surprisingly, so... That's why I'm going ahead and try this one. Alright, so hyper mode is up. And so nothing really scary about this boss. Usually the best team comp for farming would be one healer and four really strong single target DPS. Or uh, one um, healer, one leaf, and uh, three single target DPS. That's what I would recommend as well. So this boss does do um, Extinction Wave, but it's called Null Wave in this version. Uh, same thing as Extinction Wave, nothing like different about it. I screwed that up. Oh god, okay. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Uh, go ahead and resurrect everyone. Sometimes I get locked into my animation and just gets people killed. Uh, sorry, sorry everyone, sorry, sorry. But not th this boss is not that difficult, guys. As long as you have the DPS, there's nothing to be worried about. Everything is straightforward when it comes to this boss. Just keep nuking it. Keep nuking it until it's dead. So it should be dead here. I'm going to go hit it with this. Surprisingly, uh... This boss, they only give you up to version 2. Um, there is a weaker version, I believe, for this boss. But uh, everything else should be straightforward. I think... Is anyone doing stamps? Uh, but yeah, this is just the easier version, guys. Not that uh, hard. Um, I did get a really good single target party for this fight. So that's why um, it's a lot easier than what it looks like. But usually... If you are new to this game and you're struggling with this boss, my advice is take out these add-ons as soon as possible, then focus on getting the boss really, really low and killing it. In this case, I'm running, remember to wear your Earth Divine and Earth uh, Gloves that will help a lot to keep you um, surviving. So make sure you have those on. And make sure if you're a healer, to time those he uh, HP buffs with the nullification waves. It should be coming up really soon, so let's get ready here. There it is. HP buff here, and everything else straightforward. No need for a tank. Um, you can have a tank if you feel like you're struggling that much, but personally, I don't think it's needed, and you're better off saving that extra space for another DPS to make the runs a lot, lot smoother. So consistent damage is key, guys. Just smash those buttons. Boom! And this thing, I, I really, really, I haven't played a true breaker up until this point, guys. But I, I gotta tell you guys, I love playing this class. This is, it's something else, guys. When Desperado drops, you'll see why this is like one of the top classes in the game. But ooh, this class is so much fun. Oh, I screwed that one up. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna auto right here. There should be another nullification wave coming up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I screwed that one up. Here comes the notification with. Yep. So what happened there was um, I screwed that up very, very badly. Uh, what happened was I used my uh, Berserk at a very, very bad time. And therefore, um, it just basically screwed me over. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to buff back up. 
Ooh. Yeah, 1 HP does become a problem for uh, classes that do spam a lot, like um, Assassins. My Breaker suffers from that as well. But we should be fine here, nothing that scary. Yeah, this build does a lot, lot more damage. So, um, occasionally the boss does have a chance of dropping a Sapphire Chest. In the Sapphire Chest, there's a chance to get a UR and a SSR, um, or a UR or a SR accessory. If it's SR, guys, I would advise you guys just to dump it away. Just don't waste your time with it. If it's a UR, go ahead and use it. Um, the best pieces to get from this fight, or this Super Raid in particular, if you're a support, I will go ahead and get the hat and shoes. Those will help a lot. If you're a DPS, I think gloves and shoes are the ones you will get, but only for magic. Remember guys, I did say magic was um the f what was going to be for this one. There is melee, and melee is a lot, lot better if you're like a breaker of some sort. So that's why I would advise to save it for those. But you can go ahead and use them. They don't get any, uh, you don't get like any like repercussions for not using them. So I would advise if you are a Water Breaker, go ahead and use the gloves and use the shoes, but don't invest into them. Wait until the melee version comes out, invest into those. So just bring them to level 40, keep them at 1-1 one, one skill, unless you have duplicates. And just go ahead and use those for now, until the melee version comes out. So DPS is key guys, remember that. DPS will make this run a lot, lot smoother. Oh my god, I timed that so badly with the EX with the EP. So yes, um occasionally if you guys see like the EP drainage, this is a mechanic added on into the later fights of Logris. These are when the fights become really, really annoying when there's EP drains and whatnot. This is a common um uh, common debuff added to the game. Oh, do I might time this really badly? Uh Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Nothing bad here. Everything is just fine. And yep, that's the last fight guys I'll do for this video. Thank you all for watching. Farm this boss a lot if you're a support or if you're like a water magic DPS. Get those duplicates, skill them up. Um, Super Raid Tyrant set is a very, very nice set to have. So thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you have questions, just ask in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.